This week on My Hero Academia, Deku's Amazing Wet Dream. So what's up guys, Fox in here. So, continuing from last week, it seems that somehow I missed some of the Deku stuff. I don't know what drugs Deku took before going to sleep, but now Deku is getting some visions or this dream. Deku got a glimpse of all the previous One for All holders, including the original. While all of this is going on, Deku had that Ichigo full bring black aura going on. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the reveals this chapter. First off, we have All for One. We're finally seeing how this guy built his army in the past. Although notice something here, is this something new? All for One was giving a quirk to someone that didn't have one previously. Have we seen this before? I don't think so. Or was this possibly more like a transfer of quirks? It seemed like back then the world was very chaotic. It just is interesting how it seemed like All for One did start with good intentions at the beginning. Slowly but surely, it seemed that he turned into this cold type of leader. I think we're also getting a little bit more of All for One's mentality this chapter. It seems like he sees the world as his game or comic book. Basically, anything but reality. To win at this game, you gotta get to the very top. And I guess hold that position too, since he's been alive for what, decades and decades now? One thing to also notice about All for One is that it seems like he could have ended or erased all quirks on Earth to begin with. He had the power, he just didn't do it. On the flip side, we're also getting some reveals about One for All, the original holder. If I recall correctly, previously Deku was told that this brother was given the power and then rebelled, but it seems like the brother disagreed with All for One's worldview from the very start. All for One simply forced a quirk on him later. Great idea right there. Right now it seems like Deku was only able to see this since he got to the 20% threshold. The question is, did Deku only see 20% of this? In other words, there's still 80% or more of the flashback left. And for us the readers, 80% of the story left. I really hope so. I also do have to bring this up about All Might. Did All Might not get this in the past? Or did he just not fully reveal it to Deku? I mean, he didn't reveal the thing about the shockwaves until later, and it made sense why. It would actually be more interesting if All Might did not experience this. The question would be why not? On the topic of All Might, did you spot All Might there in the past? It's like he's there, but not fully. I'm guessing it's just since he's still fully alive. At least for now. Finally, at the end of this chapter, Deku's room is totally destroyed. Oh no, all the All Might collectibles are gone. Right here when I saw this, I was just thinking, is this foreshadowing a bit? Is there a double meaning with these destroyed All Mights? Although I do think there's something more interesting to notice. Look at this, Deku's wet hand. It does have the one for all power activated, but notice anything strange. No scars or cuts anywhere. So did Deku just get some free healing? Notably, Deku's hands were the only one in the vision, along with the top of his head. Did that help a little bit? Does that mean Deku's gonna be able to punch again now? Imagine a 20% punch from this guy. Either way, next chapter is definitely time to find Papa All Might. As for a small prediction for me, this chapter is of course setting the groundwork for some future meeting with the One for All members. So, could Nana become a major player in the near future? She's been teased heavily. Shigaraki's still around, so it would help tie things back together. Think about it. But anyway, let me ask you now. What do you think about Deku's juicy wet dream this chapter? Seems we only got part of the dream, so what else is left to be revealed? Does this chapter change your mind about All for One? And do you think the original holder or Nana will appear again soon? Anyway, be sure to show smash that thumbs up and subscribe. Right now I'm covering the My Hero Academia Season 3 and Manga Weekly. By the way, the My Hero Academia movie just came out in Japan today. Go ahead and check out my non-spoiler review on it, or my full spoiler breakdown. It's got a very nice moment between Deku and All Might, so check that out and I'll see you guys later.